section will going to add on here and right click and uh, FB70 and see transaction will going to add. Now my target is, now my target is, I am the one of the end user, example, I am one of the end user. In entire day, I can work only these transactions. I can't work other transactions. I can't work other transactions. Then I don't want to see this SAP menu. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. Now my target is how to hide. How to hide. How to hide SAP menu. So how to hide? Go to extras. Click on your settings. This one, everyone. Do not display menu, only favorite. Click on this tick mark. Click on here, okay, okay. See, only favorites, only favorites. Just hide the menu bar, hide the menu bar. Then again, unhide, how you can do the unhide? Very simple, go to extras, settings, and remove the tick mark of this. Do not display menu. Do not display menu. Click on here. Okay. See again menu bar is came. Again menu bar is came. Here, here you are everyone. Here you can observe here. In this empty space. Here. Let's observe my cursor everyone. Let's observe my cursor. Here in this empty space. I want to add one. Uh, my company logo. If you have paper, we'll add our company logo action. So how to hide and unhide the company's logo. Here everyone, go to extras, settings, here. Do not display picture. Remove this tick mark. Click on here, okay. Here, this is the company logo will come here. Yeah, company's logos will come here. So how to hide this logo? How to hide this company logo? Go to extras, settings, do not display this one. Click on here, okay. Click on here, okay. The next one, everyone, here, example, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, document entry, this is the T codes, everyone. FB50, FB50L, F-02. This is the T codes actually. Accounts are receivable, document entry. This is the T codes. FB70, F-02, F-22. So these all are the T codes. Now my target is how to hide T codes. Even if it is hide, it will work. So how to hide and unhide the T codes? End user T codes. How to hide and unhide the T codes. End user T codes. So my dear students, very simple everyone. Go to extras, settings, settings. And here, display technical names. Remove the tick mark of this. Remove the tick mark of this. Click on here, okay, okay. Now let's check it out. T codes is there. T codes is going to hide, but it can be worked. See, T codes are not there. Only names is there. You can check any transaction. Only transactions is there. No T codes. So again, how to unhide the T codes? How to unhide the T codes? Very simple. Go to extras, settings, and here, display technical names. Then click on here, okay. Again, you can see SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, document entry, this one. This is the one. My dear students, following everyone, what I'm telling, yes, no? Yes, yes sir. Following. Yes, yes, sir. This one. So my dear students, concentrate here some more basic settings in the mobile in the mobile what is meant by teams everyone 
what is mean by themes themes means what in mobile uh, what is mean by themes groups sir hmm? themes mobile themes and all themes means what anyone please please respond Nobody background knows. settings background background, background background yeah background styles styles italic bold colors like this everyone here here you can observe here maybe i'm not interested to see the standard colors standard colors standard themes i'm not interested so i want to see new color new color new bold new italic interfaces i want to see the colors bold italic in the new way for example everyone concentrate here here everyone themes how to change the sap theme my target is how to change sap theme how to change sap themes okay here go to customizing local layout here everyone customizing local layout here this one you can observe here customizing local layout and click on your options everyone before going to um, understand the themes i will tell you one thing everyone i will tell you one thing my dear students i will tell you one thing <laughs> i will tell you one thing everyone for example let's open google everyone let's open google or microsoft teams whatever for example if i want to open new page what can i do if i want to open this is one page everyone here i am i am seeing uh, youtube so if i want to open new page what can i do everyone what can Keep i do yeah. Yeah. Click on yeah. here, this one close this one Again, click on here, this one, new page. New page will come. So here, example, maybe here I can use Facebook. And uh, here I can use some other transactions and movie reviews and all. So if you want to open, click on here. If you click on here, the new page will come. Same to same way, you want to ask one question. Sir, is this possible to operate one or two screens in the SAP? Answer is yes. Maximum, you can open six new pages. Six new pages. For example, here you can observe. Here now only one page. Here now only one page, everyone. Now here only one page, this one. This is the logon pad and this is the page actually. Everyone, here. You observe here. New GUI window. New window. Click on here. Click on here. Now you can observe. Now it's two, two here. One more, click on here again, click on again. Now it's three, one, two, three. What is the T code to open new window? T code is for slash O, slash O to open new uh, window. Press enter, here click on here, create. How many open already? Three already opened. If you click on your create, one more will going to open. Now, how many? If you slash O, enter, already four are open. Click on your create and four. One, two, three, four, five. Five has open now. Slash and slash and slash O, o. slash O, five and click on your create. Maximum six you can open. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Uh, Screens are opened. If you click on again slash wo, either you can use slash wo. Otherwise, click on this. Click on this. This one. This button. I can use slash wo for your understanding. Enter. If you click on your create. So again, one more as came. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. In the standard SAP, based on our configuration, six can be allowed. But some servers it will allow more than six also okay i will show you how to set up maximum six maximum seven maximum eight like that 
do you understood everyone how to open the new screen in sap yes no okay yes yes sir yes sir yes sir and in case okay. if you want to close what can i do here here simply you can close here there is into mark now you can close there is into mark you can close now only one if you click on your close then system will going to close only one now this is logon pad this is the asic now everyone now your target is sir i did not uh, i am not interested this color i want to change the color i want to increase this font size i want to increase this font size how to increase this very simple everyone very simple before going to this i will ask one question how i can check this version version server how i can check anyone anyone so how system I status system status system status go to systems click on your status and here here you can observe one second everyone one second i will send one message yeah so everyone now so here i want to change the colors bold italics and all how to change that very simple everyone here go to um, customizing local layout click on your yeah. options then here you can observe themes theme settings here here themes now sap signature theme is available now you can change everyone example i am changing uh, this one what is the pronounce p e l i j d -E themes what is this can you pronounce anyone p e l i j d -E or g whatever anyone no one not interested okay click on this and apply and okay and open now it will not reflect it if you open new session it will reflect it see theme was changed or not changed anyone change sir yes yes no yes changed so like uh, this is the one down app blah 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 it's switch it open new session settings and all this is the old one for example if i open new one if you open new one slash wo slash wo enter create again new thing for themes was changed slash wo no new theme create new theme here new themes so this is something so how to change again sir i do, i'm not interested in this i want old theme i want old theme how i can go to here sap gui settings action click on your options then you can change the theme whatever theme you want i can change different theme let's take this theme q a r t z theme and click on your apply and okay then open new session slash o press enter create guys is it changed or not change sir change yes yes so this is the one and this is the different no sir i am not interested in this many things i want my old screen old theme how i can go to here setting customizing 
and options. Here are the themes. I want SAP signature theme. Click on your apply and OK. And open new session. New session onwards, it will reflect your changes. Slash O, enter. Then click on your create. See, it's came. Yes, no? Yes. Last time, everyone, uh, last time what happened? Uh, one student is called me. One student is called me. Sir, uh, you are explaining uh, different color. In my server is different color. Uh, this is the version is uh, not good. Based on the color, can you identify version or not? Answer is no. No. Based on the colors, no version. If you want to check the version, where you want to go? Systems. Here you can check the status. Here you can check what server we are discussing. HDB, HANA database, server 2022, S4 HANA 2022. For example, mobile iPhone 12 and iPhone iPhone 12. Maybe different people using in different theme. Sir, that theme is different. My theme is different. This is not iPhone 12. Am I want to say like that? Answer is anyone? No. Answer is no. So example, everyone, even in this year, in these colors, let's close all the things. For example, everyone, for example, even I want to increase the font size. I want to increase this font size. Where, how you can increase the font size? Even how to change this color, same theme, I want to change the colors, colors, bold, italic, and all. How you can change the colors? So how you can change? Very simple everyone. Go to again, customizing local layout. Options. Here, font size. What is meant by font? Font. Increasing the font. Now it's showing 14. And click on here, select. I can make it as a uh, 18, some bold and some other uh, changing some different uh, SAP design something. Otherwise, you can take this one. Any other things? Click on your OK. Some font size font. So click on OK. Then apply. Then OK. Open new session. It will update. My dear students, it's changed or not? Yes, no? Yes, yes, sir. yes. Then again, customizing local layout, options. Now you can change the colors. Colors, here, colors. Colors. So which color you want? You want gold color? Here you can observe everyone. Here you can observe. You want green color? You want purple color? You want red color, what you want. For example, let's take gold color. Apply, then OK. Open new session. Will be reflected like this. See, my target is in the mobile, in, in Excel, especially in Excel. And if you go open Excel, here in, in the MS Excel, here you can open color, gold, italic, themes, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. Same way in SAP also. Same way in SAP also. For example, here you can go customizing, options. Here you can observe. Font, uh, bold, italic, colors, blah, 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 blah. You can observe here. Okay. This is the one. And let's take uh, SAP standard signature color. Apply and OK. Open new session, then increasing the font size, increasing, sorry, decreasing the font size, font, I want 14, then OK, apply and OK, open new session. See, and if you close everything, if you close everything, if you close everything, what is the last changes you applied? 
that changes will come. What is the last changes? I change, if you double click on again and enter username and password. One second. And see, last changes I did like this. For example, I'm going to change new themes, everyone. I'm changing the colors actually. I'm taking uh, green, apply, and close. Open new session. This is my last array. Uh, let's take green or purple, red, anything. Apply and OK. New session. Yeah. Do one thing. This is my last changes, everyone. Let's close everything. Let's close everything and open again whatever last changes you applied. That change will come. Double click on again. You enter username and password. This one. Understood, everyone? Following what I'm telling? Yes, no? Okay. Yes, sir. Following my dear student? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, this is some basic settings, everyone. This is some basic settings. This is some basic settings. One more basic setting. So, okay. On this screen, SAP Easy Access screen, worked by the end user on the production system, S4 HANA 2022. Sir, you are saying uh, consultant. On which screen consultant can work? In the development server, in the development server, consultant will do the configuration on which screen? My dear students, here there is a one T code. T code is called SPRO. SPRO. It is one T code, everyone. It is just like a T code. But uh, different, different exports will give different, different definition. That is not a true. This is just for the T code actually. SPRO is a one T code. But different, different exports will give different, different full name, full form or whatever. Full form of SPRO, what is that, this, that. And not required everything. This is just for the T code. Now, my, my dear students, my question is, where the consultant on which screen consultant will do the configuration. So what is the yeah, T code? Please. I will tell you. I will tell you. Please go. I will tell you, sir. Please go on mute. Please, sir. Please go on mute, sir. Please. Mm -hmm. So everyone, go to SPRO. This is the T code. Press enter. Here, SAP reference IMG, IMG full form is called implementation guide. What is the full form of IMG implementation guide? This is the one here on here in this screen consultant going, going to work. Then back, go to home screen, back, back again, SAP easy access screen. And again, SPRO, enter. SAP reference IMG, here, this is the one. Again, back, back, this is the one. Now you want to ask one question. You people want to ask one question. Sir, you are telling SPRO, SPRO. SPRO is the one T code. Then what is the path you said now? Every T code have one path and one T code. You are saying this is the T code. SPRO is the one T code. My question is, what is the path for SPRO? What is the path for this SPRO? Everyone, here, I will tell you path. SAP menu. Here, tools, tools. Customizing IMG implementation guide, this one, SPRO, execute the project. 
execute the project. So everyone, my dear students, so if you double click on SPRO, click on your SAP reference IMG, this is the one. Guys, this is still we are not entering into the subject. This is just for the basics. This is just for the basics, everyone. This is just for the basics. Okay. So how to... Uh, once again, everyone. Once again, let me ping Lakshmi, ma'am. Yeah. So, so this is the SPR was example. Example. I want to create company. Example. How to create company? What is company? What is the definition? Everything I will tell you. Example. In this screen, consultant will doing the configuration. Example. Go to enterprise structure. Definition. Financial accounting. Here define company. Here define company. So this is the path actually. Enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, and define company. You just double click on this execute button. Click on your new entry. Here we are going to create the company. I will tell you definition and all. Let, let's wait. My intention is where you can understood. Now I, my question is, sir, okay. This is the path, enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, and define company. This is the path. And I want to see the T code. Every transaction, there is a one path and one T code. One path and a, one T code. So how to unhide, how to unhide consultant T codes? My dear students, here can you please note it down? Go to additional information, additional information, display keys, and IMG activities. Can you please note it down this, everyone? How to unhide consultant T codes? What is meant by T code, everyone? T code means what is the full form of T code? Please respond. Transaction code. Transaction code means. Transaction code means in MS Office what shortcut, we are called. Shortcut key. Shortcut key. It is a shortcut, sir. But don't call shortcut key. Call as a T code. Okay. This is not it. Once. Once again, I mean. Yes, everyone. So how to unhide? Go to additional information. Sorry, everyone. 
go to additional information, additional information, display keys and IMG activities. The last four digit is the T code everyone. What is the T code here? OX15 is a T code to create the company. OB45, last four digit, OB45 is a T code, credit control area. Last four digit is the T code. OX15 to define the company. So what is the path everyone to define the company? What is the path? Now I'm in SAP easy access screen, home screen. Now I'm in at home screen, go to SPRO, enter SAP reference IMG, select here enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, define company. You just double click on this execute button. Click on your new entry. Here you can go into create. So, sir, I don't want to see. Let's check it out. This is the path. And what is the T code, everyone? What is the T code? OX? OX, anyone? 15. OX, 15. So, here, now I'm in SAP Easy Access Screen. Back to SAP Easy Access Screen. Example, everyone, do one thing. Go to SPRO. SAP reference IMG and you, you are in anywhere, not a matter. For example, now I'm in this screen. Example, now I'm in here, this screen. You here, you can use slash N. Slash N is a back, back to home screen, back to SAP easy access screen, slash N. Press enter, enter, back to easy access screen. Slash N is back to home screen. And here you can use the T code. Instead of going path, you can use the T code. What is the T code? OX15. Press enter, enter, click on your new entry. Here you can see. So now my target is how to unhide, how to unhide consultant T codes. How to unhide consultant T codes. How to unhide consultant T codes. So, how to unhide Sarji? Go to SPRO, enter SAP reference IMG. Here, consultant can work on this screen. How to unhide consultant T codes? Go to additional information, additional information, display keys, IMG activities. Now you can see all the T codes will come. So this is the path and last four digit is the T codes. Not only this, any, any, if you go to controlling, this is the last four digit is the T codes. If you go to financial accounting, anything, you can go any, any transaction, you will see the T codes and all. Last four digit is the T code. This is the path like that. Clear, clear so far, yes, no? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, my dear students, this is just for the basic settings, everyone. Tomorrow onwards is the first class. Tomorrow onwards, we'll going to start in the enterprise structure. Let us treat as a first class. Tomorrow onwards is a first class. Let's treat as a first class. Everyone, must arrange SAP S4 HANA 2022 server, including let's un arrange ECC also, both servers you can arrange. Contact to Lakshmi ma'am. Tomorrow onwards, our class will going to start. Up to now, up to now, like demos, basic settings and all. Tomorrow onwards, enterprise structure will start. Now we are entering into the subject. Now we are entering into the subject. Say yes or no, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, everyone. So thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining. We'll meet tomorrow, everyone. Even my health is not good. We'll meet tomorrow, everyone. Okay? Thank you, sure, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, everyone. Bye.